What's up guys, in today's video we're going to be playing Royal Giant Hunter. So if you guys didn't know, Hunter got a really big buff. I would say out of all the balances, Hunter was one of the biggest winners of it because it got an 11% first attack buff. So it's almost as good as it was when it got that, you know, really big first attack nerf when it was really, really broken. And now it's almost back to that point. So you imagine... RG Hunter is going to be pretty good again. You got the Skeleton King in the deck just because it has, I would say, pretty decent synergy just for the splash. It kind of replaces something like a Ghost or Dark Prince. And then you got the Skeleton Army, which is, of course, going to allow the Skeleton King to fill up its bar and activate the ability. Zappy is really good on defense, especially with the Fisherman 2. You know, Fisherman pulling stuff away from the Royal Giant, activating the King Tower, and then Lightning. So you're able to break through buildings such as the Goblin Cage, the Tesla, and then also take out your opponent's Archer Queen. So not insanely high up, 8,041, top 600, but we'll try to push up even more. Let's head into the first match. All right, here we go, guys. Found our first game. I guess I'll talk about why I'm a little bit low. I mean, I guess for a lot of you guys, it wouldn't be low, but for my standards, low, just because normally at this point in the season, I would really second to last day like to be top 200 or even top 100, top 50 if I can, but I've been kind of stressed out the last couple days because I've been having a lot of schoolwork to do, and it's kind of unconveniently inconveniently been around when the season end is i have a you know pretty big math test coming up on uh on monday and then kind of an essay that i've had you know do this you know last couple days so i uh you know have been having to do like a lot of you know schoolwork and um that's meant i haven't been able to play as much but i'm gonna do what i can the final day of the season to try to you know, get a, you know, somewhat decent finish, and even if I don't get an amazing finish, um, it's not the end of the world, because I think, you know, obviously school is more important work, too, and I guess let this be, you know, I'm kind of young, and I, you guys don't know me for, like, giving lessons to you guys, but I guess let this be a lesson for you guys is, you know, always make sure to focus on school and, you know, work. Don't let, you know, games get in the way. At least that's what I try to do. I always try to you know, prioritize, you know, what I think is important, and at the end of the day, this game, it'll always be here, you know, so if you're busy one season end, that's okay, you got the next month, and, you know, you, you have the next month where you can grind and then go for the finish you're looking for that season, so, anyway, uh, let's focus up here, this guy looking like he's probably using, um, I would say, it's, I would say graveyard. He didn't use the graveyard yet, I don't think, but I'd imagine that's what it is, just based off of the kind of construction of the deck this guy has. You see, he's got the yeah the ice wizard, and yeah, it would only make sense that it's graveyard. I would say. So we're just gonna go RG now, and I guess we'll log his tombstone if he drops it. Although now I don't know if I can because I kind of need to save it for the uh, for the graveyard, which you saw I used it on there. I guess we're fine. I mean, we took a little bit of damage, but it could have been worse, right? I think we'll go Skeleton King here and then go for a Royal Giant. We'll pressure, knowing that his Tombstone is out of cycle, but he has a lot of defensive cards, so this matchup is certainly a little scary, I would say. I don't know if we're going to get a couple shots in with the RG. Yeah, it looks like we do because he decides not to drop a Tombstone. I'm going to Lightning that. It's a little risky because I feel like now, yeah, I was going to say he could go... For a graveyard push with the skeleton king but let's go hunter here to take out the baby drag and then go log on that graveyard and i guess we'll be able to mitigate a good amount of that damage i'm actually pretty surprised i was able to prevent almost everything and fisherman actually gets a shot on the tower too so we're able to take the lead back and he's gonna give us a free lightning i'm gonna take that for sure i don't know why he played the cannon cart there that was not the best play in my opinion go zappies in this lane maybe we force a poison out of him in the right lane which would be a good thing because he's going to you know have to use it on defense and he can't use it on offense with a graveyard so that means we could probably um use our skeleton army here and then we'll go zappies he's probably gonna yeah tornado because he didn't have the poison cycle log gonna roll through though and this is going to be a pretty close game. I think for sure we have to go RG now. His Tornado's out of cycle, so he's probably going to have to Tombstone 100%. But I feel like it's just going to... Yeah, it's going to die. And as you can see, you're going to get, yeah, the win. Nice, uh, you know, nice counter push after you went really aggressive with that graveyard. And we're going to pick a win. 34 trophies. So, 
yeah, I don't know. Graveyard isn't, like, easy, I would say, because you don't have a direct counter to the graveyard, but it can be hard for them to defend your RG pushes. So, in our second match here against this Japanese player, and we got Fisherman, Skarmy, Lightning Log, and a Starting Hand. So, I guess we could just start with a Log. It should be fine. We can just go ahead and do that, and he's going to go Ice Spirit. Ice Spirit Skeletons and Ice Golem. So we're gonna pull the Ice Golem away and then go Skarmy to take out that Hog Rider so that way the Ice Golem doesn't end up uh, popping on top of all the Skeletons there which of course would be pretty bad. And this guy of course has 2.6 which a lot of people are using right now ever since the Musketeer got buffed so I'm not surprised at all to see this. I think 2.6 is definitely back. I don't know maybe I'll make a video on it in you know a few days maybe when the season's over. Um, and I also want to make a video on 3M too, just because Musketeer is so much better now, and he's going to have to overcommit on defense, and I think we might get one shot with the RG. Yeah, one shot, barely able to get it in, and I think to defend this Musketeer, we'll just go with a Hunter. I think it really doesn't matter if we use Hunter or Zappies on it, it really wouldn't make a difference, because I feel like both of them would be quite easy for him to defend. I mean, maybe Zappies would have been slightly better, but... I don't know, at the end of the day, it really, it's the type of thing that just doesn't really make a difference. So we'll just log and see what he does. I mean, I know he's going to go Ice Golem in front every time, which is really annoying because I really would like to, oh, never mind, we are able to do it because he logged. So yeah, we can just Fisherman the Hog to the King, and that's really nice because if he didn't log, the Skarmy might have dealt too much damage to the Hog for me to be able to get the King activated. So that's, like I said, a, you know, good thing for me that I was able to get that activated. So um, he's gonna go Musk. The question is, is he gonna play Cannon in Lightning Range where I'm able to Lightning it? If he does, that would be great, of course. I don't know if he will, though. I guess we'll see. I'll just go for my Skeleton King here to tank, and then let's see where he drops the Cannon. I highly doubt he would give me value. Um, oh wow, we can actually hit the Tower too. That is incredible value. So he definitely made a mistake there with that, and you can see the RG, um, ooh, so close to locking on the Tower, but he got the Cannon down just in time. So I guess we'll just reset with another RG in the back. I would play it at the bridge, but his cycle is just so fast that I don't think it would it would be worth it. I would rather just do this, especially when I have this, you know, massive elixir lead, as you can tell. And I think I'm going to lightning here, even if he doesn't drop the cannon, just because it's worth it since I'm up so much elixir. And it would have been really nice if I could have hit the cannon too, but he would have spaced it out and... I know I wouldn't have been able to make it happen, sadly. Um, that activation, though, applied pressure, and you see he's going to have to go for another cannon, I think. Yeah. So let's just go Zappies here. He's probably going to want to go Hog Rider, I can guarantee that. So we're going to go Skarmy here to help take it out, and then Fisherman to clean up the rest. No way it should get a hit. Yeah, 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 we're completely fine. We'll just go RG in the back now. And that was a good... Yeah, that, that was a good Ice Spirit on his end. I gotta give him credit there. So, he's gonna do this. We're gonna go for the Skeleton King. And hopefully the Hunter here... Oh, it's... The Hog is kinda gonna get blocked. Look at that. Wow. It's not gonna get any shots on top of the tower. Go ahead and activate. Oh, it died. Well, actually, that's fine because I realized it wouldn't have gotten any value anyway. And the Hog... Wait... That's kind of bad, but at least the RG got a shot. Well, it's bad because the Hog got a hit. That's kind of what I meant. So this is going to be a pretty close game, I would say. Either one of us could win this. I'm just going to Hunter here. I thought he was going to Hog. That's why I did that. But now he just gave us a free Lightning, so I'm going to take that. He has to be careful about that, I feel like, because, you know, obviously I'm going to take that value if he gives me it. So I'm not going to Scar me because I knew he would go for a Prediction Log. I mean, that was just obvious. He's probably going to have to Fireball Cycle at this point. I don't know, because my Lightning does more damage, so he, I feel like he needs to get a Hawk hit somewhere. Um, that Lightning's going to be great, because it's going to hit, you know, everything I could possibly need. RG locks on, and there we are. Are able to get the win. We finally overwhelmed them. I would say that matchup in single elixir double is probably pretty annoying, but then triple, I don't know, he got overwhelmed. But to be fair, I think he could have played his defense a little better. I think maybe he just got a little bit... I don't know, he was just... I don't know, you got a little bit overwhelmed, and a couple hogs at the end, I feel like we're a little bit too aggressive. Okay, in our next game here against Martin Club. So, I guess we could just cycle a log, or Skarmy should be fine. Yeah, we'll do Skarmy, because he just kind of wasted two elixir. 
chances are he probably is using yeah elixir golem or sparky because when you see rage that normally is what it is and with the healer it's looking like it's gonna be elixir golem so something kind of toxic we don't know the variation of it yet of course um he has an inferno okay what in the world i'm very confused uh I guess we'll just go ahead and activate the ability because it's going to distract the Inferno and protect the Skeleton King. Forces a baby dragon out of him. So yeah, I guess the ability was worth it. Even though we're not going to get any damage on the tower, it you know, forced a little bit of elixir out of him. Oh wow, quite a lot. He went Dark Prince too. I don't know if he needed that Dark Prince. That felt like an overcommitment. So we'll log here. Don't ask what this deck is. I, I have no idea. Is this just like a mid-ladder deck? I, I, I don't know what this is. I, I really don't know what this is. I, I, I just, I don't, I, I don't, I don't really want to know what it is either. I mean, it's like an Elixir Golem deck, but it's like, why does he have the Inferno, you know? That's what, that's what I don't understand. It's like, what, what why the Inferno? Anyway, I guess we're going to save the tower. We're going to take a lot of damage, but... But actually, do we save the tower? Nah, apparently the he the healer is a bit too strong. I don't think he's going to be able to defend this, though. I would at least be pretty shocked if he managed to defend this. And yeah, sure enough, we will take the tower. That Skeleton King activation was probably a bit of a waste. I certainly didn't need that, but I didn't, you know, I didn't know at the time if it was going to be enough or not, so... Go Zappies here, I guess, and uh, he's obviously going to set up for a push, so we got to be kind of careful here. I'm going to Lightning this, and I would say that push was kind of a fail on his end. Bro, I still am so confused what this deck is. Like, I just, I've never seen anything like this before. I mean, just the Inferno is what makes it so strange. I guess it's like Inferno instead of Inferno Drag. I mean, probably makes the defense slightly better, but I don't know about the offense, you know? We're going to Lightning here just because uh, I didn't want to hit the tower because there's a good chance he was going to play something else in radius of it. Sometimes that can be a good play, like play not playing a Lightning on the tower in case they drop something else inside of your Lightning. But in that case, I, of course, regret doing that. I would have rather, you know... Anyway, we are able to get the win. I, I don't know what that deck was. <laughs> like, I, I, what, like, what? What? It, it's, you know, it's, it's Elixir Golem, but with Inferno. You know, who, who would have thought, who would have thought that, that, that would have been, that would have been a deck that someone got to 8k with? You know, I know I'm not, like, top 100, but someone got 8k with that deck? What? Okay, in a game here against Rackin, so I'm assuming this guy plays Lava Hound because he's, well, Rackin, if you guys didn't know, is one of the best Lava Hound players in the game, so I assume that's what he's using at the moment. We'll Skarmie at the bridge and then right after go for Skeleton King because we know he has to drop something to take out that Skeleton Army, and it's going to be perfect because that Skeleton King is going to tank for the Skelly Drag so they don't get damage on the tower, and he's going to go for a Balloon very aggressively. That is quite interesting, I would say. Um, we're gonna go ahead and activate the ability of the Skeleton King because it's gonna force arrows out of him probably or zap and yeah You decided to go arrows and he's still gonna take a lot of damage. Look at that. This is a Pretty incredible start to this match. I would say um, The only thing only reason why I'm not gonna go RG at the bridge right now Even though I'm up elixir is because I have a feeling this guy has barbarians because he's known for using a lot of variation with Barbarians and if that's the case, I don't have anything for the barbs. So it would be Kind of annoying, I would say. So we'll go Skarmie at the bridge in the other lane, I guess. And then from there, Sudi wants to do. He's just going to go Skeleton Dragons again. Maybe he goes Balloon in front. I don't know. Uh, oh, he goes Barbarians this time around. So that is very, very interesting. Um, I am going to have to Hunter this, sadly, which means he could go Balloon if he wanted to. This might be a Tower Trade situation. I don't really know. Um... Yeah, I think, well, actually, let's not activate the Skeleton King. Let's defend the Balloon, because this way the Balloon will only get one shot, and we might still take the Tower um, if he doesn't do anything, which it looks like he's not going to. Oh, no, we don't get the Tower, but the Zappies... W mm, okay, so we're not going to get the Tower, sadly. But it is going to be in Lightning range, so, I mean, I'm going to get it 
either way. You know, whether he wants me to or not, I will take it. But good chance he'll take one of my towers, because really the only good air counter I have is the Hunter. Um, but with that being said, I mean, I, I could still defend somehow, some way, but it's going to be tricky. Let's just put it that way. So we'll go Skeleton King here again. Maybe could get a good Lightning on a Balloon or something. We'll see. Uh, he might... Okay, interesting. He's going to go Balloon. I thought he was going to go Balloon with the Barbs. I didn't really know what he was going to do, though. So let's go Lightning. We're going to be able to... Uh, oh, wow. That Lightning actually came in clutch there. That was insane. With the Hunter, able to stop that Balloon. And now with 30 seconds to go, it's looking a bit more promising that I could actually end up defending here, which would be pretty great, I would say, if that's the case. So he's going to go Barbs and Balloon. So... Uh, I don't, this is, I don't know if I can stop this. No, I can't, although he didn't need that miner, so that miner kind of went to waste, I guess you could say. I'm going to go RG, but then I'm going to go Skarmie too, to kind of predict what he drops. I knew he didn't have a zap available, so he wouldn't be able to take out the Skarmie right away. And as you can see, that RG got a ton of damage, so pretty much at this point, I just need one more good... RG push and we'll be able to get the win. Maybe I'll just go for Skeleton King Fisherman in the pocket because he won't expect it and he doesn't have barbs in cycles so Fisherman's going to come in and that is going to get us the win there against one of the best Lava Hound players in the game. This guy has a couple top um, 10 finishes with Lava Hound. I actually don't know if it's on his profile. It's the same account. Well, ninth. This account ninth, and then he has some other account that he got I think like fifth sixth or even fourth on he's a very very good lava player and we're able to get the win which was really nice all right so we'll probably say one or two more games if this game's really quick you know maybe a three minute one um maybe i'll play one more but we'll see so he's gonna go fire spirit at the bridge fire spirit probably means he's using maybe royal hog cycle or um ooh, drill okay so we do have the Skeleton King, which is actually a very good counter to the Goblin Drill, because unlike something like a Valkyrie, you know, or a Royal Ghost, it, that can be fireballed back, the Skeleton King is kind of like a Dark Prince that you can just simply, you know, play right on top, and they're not going to be able to spell it back. So I'm going to RG in the back. I know he just used his Tesla, and I could play it at the bridge, but I don't have my log in cycle, and... Chances are he would probably just go for guards on top of it, and because I don't have my log, I, it would be kind of annoying. I'd have to, like, overcommit, and I don't know, it wouldn't really be ideal. So you can see, yeah, he's going to play the guards. And single elixir overall, it's better to just be passive, and then in... Oh, and it looks like he had NATO anyway, so chances are he probably would have been able to defend. So, yeah, what I was saying is single elixir, it's better to be passive because drill obviously you know is gonna have the advantage against most decks in single elixir just because of its fast cycle and you know the ability to easily out cycle the opponent so we'll just go lightning here on top of that and if he sends in a drill um i'm gonna probably have to hunter it um which isn't exactly an ideal counter but you know it's what i kind of have to do and yeah as you can tell like I thought, Single Elixir is going to be a little bit challenging here um, because it's quite easy for him to outcycle my Skeleton King, which in reality is my only counter to the to the Goblin Drill. So I got to be really careful. Have it back in cycle now. So if he pressures, I'll be ready this time around. And he's going to go for a Valkyrie. So we're just going to go Zappies here, making sure to... Okay, so he's going to do it. Let's go Skeleton King. Uh, we don't end up predicting it. He switched the placement, which is smart on his end, but he went for a very aggressive fireball. That fireball was maybe a little too aggressive, maybe a chance for us to pressure now. We'll see. I mean, maybe he can still defend, but it just seemed a little aggressive to me. So we'll go lightning here, hopefully hitting the bomber, um, you know, everything we need to. And I try to activate. Unfortunately, we couldn't get it off, but uh, let's see. I don't know, is he going to go for Prediction? Oh, he's got the Tornado, that's even worse. I was thinking he'd go Prediction Fireball, but then the Tornado too. Okay. I'd say we just get an RG down in the back. RG with the help of the Log is going to be pretty decent against the Drill if he decides to send one in, but looks like he's opting to be a little more passive right now. 
Yeah, this this matchup is definitely a little tricky because um it's very um there's a couple cards in your deck, the Hunter and the Zappies, that don't get you much value in this type of matchup. Even the Skarmie too really doesn't, since he's got the Tornado. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and Lightning this. And, ooh, we hit the Bomber too, I just realized that was in Radius. Good Tornado, yeah, oh man, the Tornado too. Brutal. Um, I think we should, uh... Oh dear, I think that's it. Yeah. I'm having the hardest time defending these goblin drills. The issue is just the fact that um, his cycle is just so much faster than mine, and I can't really break through. Some RG decks do okay against goblin drill, but this one I would say definitely has a little bit of a struggle against just because the hunter and really the tornado too i feel like it's helping him out a lot i don't even know why i did that because now he can just fireball cycle but i feel like i kind of had to i mean i don't know it was either i did that or i lose my tower um but yeah kind of tough to break through and yeah i don't know gg we'll end off of that one um so yeah i would say overall pretty good deck i think it's it's probably the best rg deck right now i mean or a similar variation some people have been using ewiz instead of the zappies or you could use a variation with the archer queen but i feel like you know it's better when you're using hunter to use something like zappies because you already have a lot of air support so when you're using something like the queen it gives your opponent so much lightning value so zappies are going to be really good against decks that have lightning which i didn't happen to play against a lot of this video but if you're against someone else using rg lightning or electro giant you're going to be very happy that you have the zappies you know as opposed to the archer queen so that is why the zappies can be useful in the deck but that's gonna be it for the video make sure to like it if you guys did end up enjoying the video subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed already maybe i'll get a video out for last day of the season i'll see um, if I have time, but as I said, I have studying to do, so we'll see what happens. Um, maybe I don't, and I happen to upload, you know, after the season's over, or maybe I'll just do a GC video. I don't know, but I'll, I'll try to get a video, uh, ladder video out last day of the season, and yeah, thanks again. Until next time, guys.